بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone I am Abir Al-Anadi your English teacher today Today inshallah we're going to take Flying High 2 for the second level of the secondary stage This is your book, the student book Please prepare your book Now Open Unit 6, Lesson 4 Unit 6, listen for page 56, uh, open page 57. This is our lesson today. Yesterday or last time we have taken uh, or talk about uh, uh, the technology and uh, developing or development of cars since 1970s until now. Also, we have talked about the zero first, second, conditional sentences and their uses and their forms. Today, inshallah, our objectives will be develop the unit topic, keeping up with technology. Also, expose students to extended written discourse. Ex expose students also to spoken discourse. Develop writing skills, writing a short essay, Develop also listening skills, listening for specific information. Now, go to page 57, 2. Speaking and listening. Look at the photograph. Here we have a photograph. What is this? What is the things in the photograph? What do you think or how do you feel about this photograph? Here, as we can see, it's it's like a factory, oil factory. Actually, it's a field of oil, a field of oil, like Aramco fields and such a petroleum fields and such like this uh, fields. Go now to B. Listen to the people talking about technology and oil. We will listen to people talking about technology and oil. Complete the notes. Here we have notes or sentences from one to five. Try to read it and complete it after listening to the talking. Number one, oil could last another. I want the time oil could last for. Two, we need to find. What do we need to find? Okay, listen and tell me what do we need to find. Three, oil fields could be found where? I want you to listen and tell me. Four, closed oil fields should be, what should we do with the closed oil fields? Five, the environment must be or must what? I want you to tell me what they will tell us about the environment. Okay, now listen to the talking. Unit six, lesson four. Hi, Sammy. I read an article about oil yesterday. It was about technology and oil. How long do you think our oil will last, Sammy? I don't know. Maybe 50 years? Well, according to the article, it could last 140 years. No, there's not enough oil. Not yet. But the article said we could do a lot of things to make it happen. For example, well, new oil fields need to be found. Now that oil exploration technology has improved, that is possible. True, but where? The article said if we explored below the sea, we might find more fields there. It's cheaper to explore below the sea these days, again because of technological development. That still isn't enough for 140 years. You're right, but there are existing oil fields that have been closed. Now, with better technology, we should reopen them. And what about the environment? The article didn't say much about that, but of course, we must protect that. I agree. Okay, now go to the sentences again and try to complete it okay number one oil could last 
for how long or how much time? 140 years. It could last for 140 years. Two, we need to find what? We need to find more new fields. We need to find more and new fields because we need more uh, oil. Number three, oil fields could be found where? Where can we find oil feeds, uh, fields? Under the sea. Now we can find more fields under the sea. Closed oil fields, the old and the closed oil fields should, do, should be what? It should be, I will change the color, it should be re-opened. They should open them again and try to use it. The last one said the environment must be, what should we do for the environment? We should protect, so it must be protected. Okay, we should improve our oil fields, but we must protect our environment. Okay, these are the answers of 2B. Now, after checking your answers, go to 2D. What do you think about the ideas in the listening task? What do you think about the ideas in the listening uh, talking? In the talking you have listened to. Okay, I want you to think about it and try to uh, put some notes aside. Now, listen to it again and try to have uh, a think or an opinion about it. Listen again. Unit 6, Lesson 4. Hi, Sammy. I read an article about oil yesterday. It was about technology and oil. How long do you think our oil will last, Sammy? I don't know. Maybe 50 years? Well, according to the article, it could last 140 years. No, there's not enough oil. Not yet. But the article said we could do a lot of things to make it happen. For example, well, new oil fields need to be found. Now that oil exploration technology has improved, that is possible. True, but where? The article said if we explored below the sea, we might find more fields there. It's cheaper to explore below the sea these days, again because of technological development. That still isn't enough for 140 years. You're right. But there are existing oil fields that have been closed. Now, with better technology, we should reopen them. And what about the environment? The article didn't say much about that. But of course, we must protect that. I agree. Okay, now after listening to the talking about the article, now what do you think about this, the ideas? Are they effective ideas and good ideas? Sure, it's uh, some uh, good. Uh, there is some good ideas, but I think the article must have something about the environment. They also must look after our environment. Okay, and uh, the other ideas are good. Now, move on to three grammar. Time closes with past, present, and future forms. What do you know about conjunctions? Uh, conjunctions, conjunctions. What do you know about them? Okay, read. We will read now and try to answer the questions. Then revise. What do you What do you know about them? Look at these sentences using before. Using before. Here, 
after, as soon as, while, until, when, and as. Okay, these are some words to uh, relate sentences. What do you notice about the, t uh, the tenses used here? Here, what do you not uh, notice about the tenses? Which tenses can you use with these conjunctions? Okay, we will read the sentences, then we will decide which tenses are used with the conjunctions. Con conjunctions. Okay? Okay, now, here. One, bicycles were popular before people could offer cars. Here, where is the word? Where is the time word? Where is the time word here? Bicycles were popular before. The word is before. Two, first, what is the tense here? Bicycles were popular before people could offer cars. Here, the tense is past. Okay. Number two, Nasser bought a car after he had passed his driving test. Okay. After, here is our word. What is the tense here? He had passed. So, it is passed. Perfect. Here, had Bust. Three, many people learn to drive as soon as they are old enough. As soon as. What is the tense here? Yes, it's a present symbol. Four, people drove big cars while oil prices were low. Our conjunction's word is while. Prices were low, okay? Drove. What is the tense here? It's past. Number five, oil will be used until it runs out. Oil will be used until. What is the tense here? It's a future. Okay? Six. People will use different forms of energy when oil run, runs out. It's also here. Future with the present. Seven, the price of oil goes up as the dema uh, demand increases as. So, the price of oil goes up as the demand increases. So, here we have present symbol. Now, what are the tenses we have noticed? All the tenses are used with the conjunctions, so we can use all the tenses. Here, go to the language assistant. These time conjunctions can be used in the present, past, and the future. We can use them with the present, the past, and the future, okay? But be careful in the future. The subordinate clause must be in the present. The subordinate clause. Like here, when we use the future, people will use different forms of energy when oil runs out. Here we have the present symbol and here the future. So we must, the subordinate clause must be in the present symbol. We must use the present symbol with the future well in the second part after the time word. Here you have an example. I will do my homework as soon as I get home. So here we use the future, will do my homework. As soon as, this is the word, the uh, conjunction's word, I get home present symbol, okay? When using after in the past, 
the subordinate clause should be in the past perfect. Here we have an example like this one. When we use after, she went to bed after she had done her homework. When we use the word after, the conjunction word after, the subordinate clause, the other clause after the word should be in the present or the past perfect. Here, she went to bed, this is past simple, the subordinate clause in the past perfect, had done, okay, had done. The last part, a continuous tense is usually used with while. We use the continuous usually with while. You know what's the meaning of continuous? The ing form. Okay, now go to 3b. Complete the sentences using the correct form of the verbs. Here we have, we have verbs. Try to complete the sentences by using the correct form. As soon as I to bed last night, last night here, a keyword reverse to the past. So the answer will be, the answer will be, went. We will use the past symbol, okay? We will use the past symbol, okay? Last night, I fall asleep, okay? We will use the past symbol also. I fell asleep, okay? Number two, I usually read book while I travel by bus. I usually hear, what do we, sh what should we use? Read. He here said, with while, use the, what? A book while? Traveling, traveling, sorry, traveling by bus. Is it correct now? No, while I'm traveling by bus. Try to finish the rest by yourself and check your answers. With your Friends, write three or four sentences, write three or four sentences about the past, present, and the future using some of the conjunctions above. Be careful with the tenses, okay? Be careful with the tenses. Here we have speaking and writing. Discuss what kind of energy you think will be used in Saudi Arabia in the future. Give reasons for your opinion and try to write a short essay of two paragraphs on energy used in Saudi Arabia now and in the future. Try to write these short paragraphs about them. And that's all for today. I, have, uh, I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you and see you next time, inshallah.